Survivors of the deadly school shooting in Parkland, Florida, say they are tired now of waiting for adults to do something about gun control. So they've announced a nationwide demonstration. CBS News correspondent Adriana Diaz tells us more about what the students hope to accomplish. These students, some too young to go to the polls, are using their voices as their vote. People that I know, people that I love have died. Teen after teen. Now this is a turning point in American history. Who survived Wednesday's shooting addressed this rally Saturday. The people in the government who were voted into power are lying to us. And us kids seem to be the only ones who notice. Students like Emma Gonzalez want to stop mass shootings with stricter gun laws, hoping to achieve what adults before them couldn't. It's a shame, but I think it's kind of fallen on the kids to take care of this one. They're a generation now taking a stand on social media and on the streets, even staging a walkout at a nearby Florida school on Friday. I think this is a tipping point. Bob Weiss's daughter was one of six students killed by a gunman in 2014 in Isla Vista, California. A lot of times in the, in the wake of a shooting, People are all upset and, and motivated for about five or six days. And this is the first time I've ever seen people take to the streets. Millennials are the ones that are going to make the difference because we have so much information at our fingertips. We are relentless. We do not let things go. Why is a kid more relentless than an adult? Because an adult can be swayed by money and kids are swayed by feelings. The student activists plan to use their time out of school to push their agenda forward. This week, they plan to go to the state capitol to deliver petitions calling for a ban on assault weapons. Adriana Diaz, CBS News, Parkland, Florida.